In this video, you will learn how to create a variety of hologram looks fast using this free script. Coming up! Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to GAL. Today I'm super excited to share with you a free hologram script that was created by my friends at Production Crate. It is 100% free. It is the easiest, most simple way to create hologram effects and after effects. You don't even really need to know too much about the effects. It's a simple click and apply and from there you can make adjustments. So in this tutorial, I've provided the sample green screen clip. So I'm going to show you, of course, how to do some chroma keying to remove the green screen and then how to apply the script, modify it. And if you want to have a hologram projected from a wall, I'll also show you how to use the projection effects from Production Crate that you can overlay on your footage to make it look like your hologram is being projected to the floor. And we'll throw in some cool sound effects as well to sell the effect. Per usual, all of the time codes are down below, so if you want to skip around to review any section, you can do that as well. And so, oh! To get the free hologram effect, use our link below at the top of the description box. This will take you to Production Crate. You will need to sign up for a free account to access the script. Once you access the script, simply click to download it. And that's it. By getting the free account at Production Crate, you will also access thousands of other free effects. To know which ones are free, they do not have a golden star next to it. The golden star items are pro only. That's all, signing off. Yeah, that's how you download the script. And now let me show you how to remove the green screen to begin the effect. Let's get into it. To follow along with this tutorial, you can download the project file below and I've included an XML version of this After Effects file in case some of you are using earlier versions because I'm using After Effects 2021. So once you have it downloaded and you open it up in the composition, you'll see the background footage of me holding the lens cover in my hand. And now we want to place our hologram green screen clip on top of this footage. So let's drag and drop it on top of this footage in our composition. And now let's use the rectangle tool to draw a mask to isolate just the part around the subject. This will make the chroma keying easier as we will only need to deal with the shadows and the lighting just around this little patch of green. Now we're going to go to effects and search for the key light effect. And let's drag and drop it onto our comp here. And from effect controls, this is where we can perfect our green screen chroma key. So we can use the screen color dropper to select the green area. And now here's the pro tip to do really good green screen keying. We're going to change the view mode to screen matte. And here we want the background to be completely black, transparent. We don't want any of the gray areas or the white areas. In the foreground, we want this to be completely opaque, white, so no gray on top of the white. So to fix this, we're going to toggle open the screen matte controls. So we're going to clip the black using the slider to get it as close to around 70 as possible. And then let's clip the white down to 85. And now we can go back to final result and you can see it did a pretty good job. You can also play around with the foreground color correction by playing around with the saturation, contrast, and brightness, but we really don't need to worry too much about that because we'll be applying hologram effects over top. So now that we see the final result and we have a pretty great key, you can actually see the before and after by pressing that effects button next to the key light effect from the effect controls. So now that the background is removed, now we're going to click on our clip to reposition the hologram in a place that we want it to be on our hologram pad. And you can also press S on your keyboard to scale up the size as well in your composition. You may also need to reposition just a little bit more and you can also rotate it because there is an angle to the lens cover here. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard to rotate and I'm going to enter the value minus four to create a nice angle. 
So I think it needs to be just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to play around with the scale and the position. And now I think it looks good. And now let's create another mask to make it look like I'm kind of floating above this hologram pad. To do that, let's go back to the rectangle tool and draw another mask to end right about above my knees. Now this time we're going to change the mask type to intersect and let's toggle the mask controls open and let's increase the feathering here to make it look like I'm floating above the hologram pad. So now we need to do some basic motion tracking so that way the hologram stays glued to the pad while it's moving. So as we play back the clip, you can see some slight movement happening with my hand. So we're going to move the playhead all the way to the beginning and let's open up the tracker panel. Now select the background layer and select track motion. This will bring up the layer window from which we can move our tracker point to a high contrast point somewhere in the center, like between one of these gaps here and that is perfectly fine. Then we need to select edit target. We don't want the target to be the green screen clip, however. So let's actually close this first and let's go up to layer new and create a null object. And essentially this is just an empty layer that will hold all of the tracking data for us. So once the null object is made, we can move it up to the top and then we can go back to edit the target and make the null object the target of the tracking data. So now we can press play to analyze the motion and I'm going to stop it right about here because at this point the hologram is no longer in my hand and we don't need to track it any further. So let's hit apply and it will apply all of the tracking data to the null object. Now back in the composition, let's close up these layers for organizational purposes and now to get the hologram to get stayed glued on the hologram pad, all we need to do is take this little pick whip swirly icon here and drag and drop it onto our null object. And now we can play it back and you'll see that the hologram is moving nicely with the hand, which is exactly what we want. So now let's go on to the fun part, applying the hologram script. So here go up to file, scripts, and run script file. And then you're going to select the production create script file that you previously downloaded. And this will bring up a little handy production create widget. And you can click right here to preview all of the cool presets as starting points. They also have a random one, which can be kind of fun because it will generate a bunch of weird parameters. So you can try that out as a starting point. But for me, I'm just going to use the basic one. So first make sure that you have your green screen clip selected and then you can press the little plus icon to apply it. And after you press it, you're gonna see that production create script is going to run, pre-compose and apply a bunch of effects. And you can see it's pretty much done. You just have to make a few different tweaks. So the script does all of the hard work for you. So let's go ahead and let's play it back to see how it works. I'm going to reduce the resolution down to about half for better playback. And one thing that will happen is you'll notice the tracking of the hologram disappeared because production crate actually pre-composed the hologram. So you'll see another composition here called hologram. So from here, we actually need to do the pick whip again. So pick whip this composition to the null object and then it will be connected to the tracking data again. So next we need to select the hologram comp and go to effect controls and now we can tweak all of these parameters that production create applied. So I won't show all of the parameters, but I'm just going to show the ones that I modified. First up is the scan lines. These are the vertical lines that you see that make it look a little bit lower res. So you can increase the scan width as much as you want to create a more distorted hologram. For myself, I'm going to bring it back down again to around 3.5. Next is displacement. If you wanna have a little wiggle to your hologram, you can increase the large displacement amount and more of a wiggle will happen. You can see it playing back. So I think that a little wiggle is kind of cool. So I'm going to just leave this at five. Also, you can see traveling displacement here. If we increase this amount, you'll see that this little distorted area that moves up and down the hologram, this will change. And you can also adjust the speed of this traveling displacement, or you can click the check mark to turn it off if you don't want it. Next is an RGB split. 
So this is under chromatic aberration. So you can increase the color separation value here to make the RGB colors more split and farther apart. You can increase it as much as you want, but I actually prefer it to be a little bit subtle, so I'm going to lower that back down. And of course, there's color as well. You can simply click on this and change it to any color that you want, but I'm going to stick to the classic hologram blue here. And lastly is the projection arrays. You can select the origin here and you can move the rays to come from any location just by moving the origin point around in your composition. So for this, we're going to actually move the origin down to the feet so it will project up from the pad. And I'll show you how to refine this method in a second, but I also wanted to show you that you can bring it off to the left to make it kind of like a projection down as if a projector was coming off from the left. So you can move this origin off to the side again and Production Crate has a bunch of projection loops and one of them is actually free. You don't need a pro account to use it. You can download one of these projection loops, then you can drag it into your project panel and put it on top of your composition. Then you can resize it and rotate it until it looks like the projector is projecting the hologram onto the pad. So I just wanted to show this option because it might be something useful for a look that you're going for, such as if you're going to project a hologram onto the floor. But in this case, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to undo it and remove it. And let's go back to effect controls and let's move the origin point of the rays back down to my feet. Now to customize this a little bit further, I actually had to undo some of the expressions. So what I did was I double clicked on the hologram comp to customize the rays effect. So you can open this parameter up and from the radial blur effect, I'm going to turn off the expression here by pressing the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac. And then you can select the stopwatch and this will turn off the expression so it's no longer a red number. And now you can control the rays however much you want. So I'm going to bring it up more so it's kind of shining above me a little bit to the point where I think it looks good. And then we can go back to comp one and then control the opacity a bit more by lowering it until it looks just right. And now it's nearly complete. The only thing we need to do is create an effect for the hologram to turn on and off. So to create a simple turn on effect, we can simply select the hologram comp and press T to bring up the opacity controls. We can scrub to the moment in our composition where we want the hologram to appear fully and just click the stopwatch to enable and create the first keyframe. Then move the playhead to the left when you want it to begin to start to fade in and bring the opacity value back down to zero. And when we play this back, it'll just make a simple appearance. So this is kind of a basic effect, but it works. If you wanna add a little bit more of a twist here, this is where I went up to effects and I searched for CC Twister and I applied it to the hologram comp. So from here, you need to customize. Just like before, we're going to open up this effect and we're going to scrub to the part where we want the completion on screen to end. And we're going to click the stopwatch here next to completion to create a keyframe. Then we're gonna go back a few frames and change the percentage to around 50% until you see a twist. And you're going to wanna to turn off the shading here because we don't need shading. We want that to disappear. So from here, you can play around with the center point values and adjust the axis here until you get a really cool twist. And you can play around with the spacing of the keyframes. And now when we play back, it just makes a more interesting entrance. It's not just a simple fade. There's a little bit of a twist, which makes the effect a little bit more believable. So I'm going to do the exact same thing quickly to the very end for when they fade off and they twist off to the end before I close my hand. So this is how it looks and it's looking great, but there's one final last step and that's the sound design. So for the sound design, I went on SoundCrate and I downloaded a bunch of different sound effects. So power ons, power offs. I found some glitch sounds and some hums. And what I did is I stacked them all up here in my timeline beneath my video to match at the exact times that I wanted them to sound to the video. To give it a hologram sound to my voice, I selected this dialog clip and I went to the essential sound panel. And here I chose a preset for over the intercom. 
And all this did was make it sound like it was coming over a hologram, but it makes it more believable for this hologram effect. And so now let's play it back so you can see the final effect with the music. In this video, you will learn how to create a variety of hologram looks fast using this free script. Coming up! And to note, this hologram logo reveal that you see here, this is just a logo reveal template that I edited in After Effects. So if you're interested in this template, I've linked to it below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this effect. It's super cool and easy to use. And thank you so much to Production Crate for making this free script. It seriously makes it so much easier. All you need to do is add a little chroma key, a little bit of adjustments, some basic motion tracking if you have a moving object like with my hand, and that's it. So definitely check out Production Crate and consider subscribing to the Pro Plan because they have so many cool effects and they take requests. So if you're looking for something specific, just leave a request and more likely than not, they'll consider it to be added to the library. Oh, and have another call here. Thank you, gal. I was recently visiting planet Ezra. There, the video editors told me about a brand new plugin called Maze Mapping. The tool is quite fascinating. It will automatically organize all of the files inside of your project panel into any structure that you indicate. They call this structure a maze. They also said that you earthlings can get a free full day trial by using my link below. So that's it, signing off. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys found it funny, useful, informative. I hope that you guys can start doing more hologram effects with ease now. And if it helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I publish new content. And yeah, that's it. And remember, keep creating better video with Gal. Closer to yourself because she's on okay. the edge. Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> okay. I just can't handle it.